No breakfast this morning? What is going on guys? Welcome to Monday's Daily Vlog. 9.45 a.m. What's going on guys? Um, been a while since I pulled out the camera in the morning. I left, or I picked up my old people this morning. Because I have work at 2 to 9, which is my usual schedule on Mondays. I close at the recreational park. My blood sugar this morning was 85, which is great. Or I think it was the magic 83. Who knows? And I took my six units 11 mirror uh, and fat, which I usually do. That's my third basil shot. And my choice of eating today, since I'm working two to nine, and a lot of you guys know I don't like really eating at work. I don't feel that comfortable. And I'm getting off late. I'm not going to have my last meal at work because if I'm going to have my last meal, it's going to be a little bigger, and that means I'm gonna eat a late dinner today. So I can manage that, it's fine, it won't be perfect. It is what it is, I made the choice. That being said though, I'm not gonna have breakfast, which I'm kinda hungry right now, I'm smelling food, but <laughs> I'm gonna have my first meal around 12, and then pack a meal for around three o'clock. So I'll show you guys, or I'll plan to eat it around four. So I've given me some time, ha had been at work versus like, you know, eating right when I get to work. I'll show you what insulins I pack, what I'll exactly pack for that meal at four o'clock, and what I'll eat at 12. So basically, guys, it's a full day of eating, and uh, it's Monday, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, why do I keep saying it's Monday? I'm hoping they go to the gym just to stretch. Today's a rest day, which is mostly Mondays are rest days because I have such a big schedule, and I just plan on foam rolling, stretching out, kind of like moving around a bit. By that time, not fasted, I'm gonna be editing yesterday's vlog. Already got my first Instagram post up, kind of like a morning quote of the day or an inspiring message I like to do in the mornings of Instagram and keep my day going. Just try to stay up on content, vlogs before I go to work because it's basically seven seven hour shift. Coffee. Coffee time. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm not really fancy with coffee. It's just instant. Oh, well. With Truvia. Blood sugar and coffee. I know a lot of people have to bolus for coffee, so I want to do something. Since I'm fasting today, what I'm going to do is have some coffee, show you my pre-blood sugar and my post-blood sugar. Nine fifty a.m. I am seventy-three. Pretty confident I won't go down. Show you my coffee. I know, I know, instant. Okay, I'm a coffee noob. Not that great. About eh, a little more. There we go. Some Truvia, and I put some uh, non sugared creamer powder thingy. Stay tuned. That was something I made for Instagram showing people like my coffee. I haven't got to the after results, and I thought I'm gonna share with you guys too. Um, guess what? That's my last test strips. So there, there's a good amount, but I need to call my freaking doctor and pharmacy and tell them I need my prior authorization to be approved because insurance doesn't pay for 10 checks a day because insurance always goes like, why are they checking this much? They shouldn't be checking that much. Well, they don't have type 1 diabetes. So I need to go get on their booty and say, hey, did you guys refill my stuff? Hi, uh, my name is Ali. I'd like to check in with a prior authorization. Oh, you said a prior authorization? Yeah. Alright, so it's 10.05 p.m. I check my blood sugar after I just finished drinking my coffee and I'm low on test strips. But I love you guys. So I'm 75, doesn't seem to be a big change. Keep you guys posted if it really does, which I really doubt. Caffeine is really different with me versus other people. Appreciate it. Largest pharmacies specializing in diabetes testing and medical supplies. Your call is important to us and will return to your call momentarily. We want to take this time while you are waiting to remind you that we offer quality diabetic supplies including integrity and high standards one satisfied customer at a time family owned and operated all right so i've been editing it's about 11 o'clock felt low 68 
Um, I think it's hard. I haven't tested my basil in a while. I'm not testing, but I'm not eating breakfast, so it count kind of technically counts as a as a test for my basil because I haven't taken any fast acting too. So it's been a while. Um, definitely need to make adjustments. It could be something to do with my weight, eating less in general. Um, I don't know. So probably six units needs to go to five of Levimir for my nine eight a.m. shot. So guys, it is 12 p.m. I decided I'm gonna take R for my first meal. And I'm kind of worried about that, but I went with like a six point, almost seven units of R. Basically a really conservative seven shot. Went for it. Here's what I'm dosing for. Two boiled eggs, half the servings of chicken thighs. I usually eat egg whites, bell pepper, celery, seasoning, hot sauce. Already took my vitamin D, vitamin C, um, which I do it for my first meal all the time. I'm trying to keep this vlog up, hold on. And yeah, I'm trying to do be really good at my timing because I have to be aware. I have to be out the house around 1.30. It's 12 o'clock. This vlog isn't up yet. I gotta make my second Instagram post, eat this. Already pre bolused prepare my lunch for work, which I kind of already did as I was cooking my first one, kind of just knock it out. And uh, yeah, it feels good to get shit done. Get stuff done. Don't say bad words. Before I head to work. So one is Nova Log, one is R. The way I know the difference, well, this one's R because it's a 50 unit marker. And then this one's Nova Log because it's a 30 unit marker. But just in case they're the same syringe, I roll R on this bag and I'll put the R in there. This one, the Novolog, just in case I correct my blood sugar, goes in my bag. All right, y'all, it's 140, heading out to work. I got my lunch in there and then my insulin, all my bags in. I feel good, I got everything done. You know, blog is up, my Instagram post is ready for like five o'clock or six, whatever. And um, what else is going on? What's going through my brain? Yeah, last Monday I was in a pretty bad place because Sunday I had a major hypo or Monday morning. And I felt like I just ate whatever. I, I, that's when I spiked to 300. Um, 300, but yeah, all is well. And I'm in a much better place today, focused. I actually feel, I felt low. Or I kind of still do a little bit, like 30 minutes ago at that 100. That's why I checked again. And I was 100. But I'll make sure to double check at work. Maybe it's just from lunch. That being said, I'll see you later. Don't miss me. Bye. <laughs> From work, guys. I'm back. It's 9:20. BG update time. Forgot to say, I always say, it and I want to go to the gym Monday, and like 99% of the time, I I don't ever set the intention of going to the gym and working out and not going. So today was a rest day. I wasn't really worried. Even if I made time, it would have been like 30 minutes, may max. But that didn't happen. At 4:30 p.m., I was 154. I felt elevated, kind of stressed out. Felt it in my feet too. And I took one unit of Novolog in my shoulder, a bathroom at work. 5.30, I was 113. Took six units of R for this lunch. Six units of R, 113, 5.20 p.m. Pretty good, satisfying. And then just started crashing. 6.45, 6, I was 65, had one tablet. Hour after that, I had another tablet. Just felt really low while I'm like talking to everyone at work. Like, just can't really tell. Kind of like dazed. And then right now, I'm 92. I am hungry, so... Today's vlog has just been really a full day of eating, which is a lot of my older vlogs, but nonetheless, here's dinner. 9.47 p.m., six units of R. Six was too much for lunch or the last meal I had, but I'm having more calories, obviously, and, and uh, more having more food. We got ground beef under there, two boiled eggs, egg whites under there, spread with some Parmesan spread. And then this my mom made broccoli with some onions, shrimp, and there's like two grape tomatoes. Cucumber, celery. This is R. So I take that usually for anything after breakfast. Breakfast, I'm pretty resistant. So I take Nova Log, but I've been decreasing it lately because I've been dropping too. And yeah, I'm about to eat this. I should make my last Instagram post pretty soon. The full day of eating with Ali Abdul Kareem. Guys, appreciate you guys watching. Um, I want to say something because I like to open up a lot with you guys. I feel like I've been getting attacked lately for, and I'm, and I'm not like trying to get at anyone for eating the way I eat. And there's a reason why I pull out the camera and hold on, hold on, let me fix the hair. The reason why I pull out the camera and share this with the world because I, I believe in what I do 
and I document everything because I'm not trying to show you guys that I have it all together. You know, like, oh, I eat this way. I'm not going to show you my low blood sugars, my high blood sugars. This is the truth, and this is what I go through, and I'm still struggling and figuring out my way. You know, I don't eat a certain way. Yes, I do eat higher cholesterol foods, more saturated fats, more fats in general than a higher carb diet. But if I do remember in the description, I made a video a long time ago, I remembered recently why I follow Dr. Bernstein, why I eat a high protein diet, why I don't eat plant-based, why I don't eat other diets. And there it is in the description if you guys wanna go see it. So that being said, it's about 10.30 p.m. I'm about to take my Levimir shot of 13 units, yeah, 13. I'm gonna decrease it and then strawberry lemonade, have this, maybe edit this vlog, I doubt it. Probably just relax for a bit and um, go to sleep pretty soon have some my usual pistachio snacks. Hit the like button, comment down below. Appreciate you guys watching. See you tomorrow. Good night.